All right, it's time to take a look at Apple's iBooks application. This is their ebook, and it jumps you right into the last page that you had read on the last book that you had opened. And um, you can see it's loading the book here down along the bottom, getting all the information on the book as you load it up. Um, and of course, you know it's got this neat page turning thing that shows you a preview of the next page, which is pretty slick. Um, you can also, yeah, you can just tap if you want to do it more quickly. Uh, you've got a few options here. Um, you know, obviously when you're just reading, everything sort of goes away, but if you tap on the screen, you get a whole bunch of stuff. You've got a slider down here at the bottom, which shows you not only page numbers, but the chapter. Um, you can, of course, add a bookmark. Go jump straight to the table of contents. Look at your bookmarks. Hit resume to add a bookmark. You just tap and hold, and it gives you a dictionary search of bookmark, or just a straight up search. So we'll add a bookmark so we remember our spot. And you'll see I also can highlight a whole section here. Bookmark that, and it highlights it. Doesn't look like you can add notes though, which is unfortunate. Oh. You can change the uh, color of your highlighting. That suits your methods. And you can unbookmark. Of course, you can change the brightness, which is very important on an ebook reader with this LCD screen. You can also change the font size. And you can even change the font if, uh, if you'd like. And uh, my favorite thing, you can search the entire book. So uh, let's search. This is a book about food, so let's search for chicken. And it also lets you search Wikipedia and Google as you do that. So here's all the instances of chicken. Of course, we can go portrait mode if we want, and that gives you a much bigger page. Makes the search a little bit easier to see as well when you're in portrait mode. And of course, you can go back to your library, which works in portrait and landscape. And these are all the books that you've downloaded. Um, you'll see here I've got the King James Bible and the complete works of Shakespeare because uh, there is a hook into the Gutenberg Bible, which is pretty cool. On a shop, you can shop right here in the app, and uh, it uses your iTunes account so you don't need to re-sign in. Um, and you can look at bestsellers on the New York Times, you can look at the top charts on the Kindle. One nice thing, just as with iTunes, it lists paid and free side by side, which is pretty slick. Um, so you can see, of course, there's a whole lot of Project Gutenberg free books here, that and those that are popular. Uh, of course you can search, um, and I gotta say the uh, book selection here has been a little bit disappointing, uh, but it, I gotta say it's also disappointing on the Kindle. Um, so I mean, you know, let's search for uh, Jose Saramago, he's one of my favorite authors. All the Names is a great book, I'd like to buy it. I have nothing by Jose Saramago, which is a bummer. So we'll go back to the New York Times bestseller list, just so you can see what the experience of purchasing a book is like. Actually, let's just go grab a free book. Uh, Art of War, that's a good book to read. We'll get that. And it wants your password, which I'm not going to show you. There we go. And so you can see it's downloading the book. And uh, it's actually taking a sweet time because my internet connection is pretty poor here. But once it downloads, you'll be able to open it and read it. Uh, here's textbooks from... Uh, the Gutenberg project. It's you know they're in text files, so um, looks a little bit odd, but we can change the font to uh, something that fits a little bit better. We'll change the font size back down here, and you know it's uh, it's reading these line breaks on their uh, warnings a little bit off. But here we go. And so now we can change the font size down. Looks pretty good to me. So that's a quick look at iBooks on the iPad. And um, there you go. You can look at just a simple list. 
and you can even delete books if uh, you're crazy and want to delete books.